Hey, Rick Sparber here. I'm showing off my new Centroid CNC. It runs uh, with a board called an Acorn. I'll give some links at the at the bottom of the, uh, the page. Uh, so what you see right here is a screen. Uh, it's got a couple of different controls on it. Over here is a soft uh, control, but in the middle here is what uh, I find most interesting. It's an auxiliary control that lets me uh, run pretty much the same things as over here. On the, this is touchscreen, but instead I'm using an Xbox controller. Uh, I really like this. It's uh, got good human factors. I'm used to using it. Uh, and for $6, I found a driver online uh, that was very easy to use and, and was very solid. I had no trouble setting it up. It lets me map these keys on here, these joysticks and buttons, to control this panel. So, first of all, I can turn that panel on and off. And I'm doing that by pushing two buttons on here. Uh, each button has a function, so the button on the left is Alt, the button on the right is J, so I have to push two buttons. Uh, not a bad idea anyway, because that way there's some safety if I bump it. Uh, then, if I want to control the x-axis, you can see up here is x, I just push this, but this uh, joystick to the right, and you can see the x is moving back and forth, y. I push that joystick up and down. Z is the other joy joystick up. And Z goes up and down. And then I have an A axis, and that pushes this joystick sideways. Doesn't make as much noise, but you can see it right here. Now, I also have the ability to uh, control uh, the steps, at, whether it's incremental or continuous. Right now, you you might be able to see that this is that light's not lit, so it says it's continuous. So when I was moving the x-axis, you can see it's continuous. If I go to pushing the x and the y button here, now it's incremental. So now when I hit x, it's going to jog, and it's going to jog at the slowest rate, times one. I've got these triggers on the back I've programmed. If I pull the right trigger, that incremented the jog to times 10. So there's times 10. And this is times 1. So there's times 10. There's times 100. So I can move step size with these triggers. Then I also have the ability, by holding down the X, and the A button to go between slow jog and fast jog. So now I've got it on fast jog. And if I go to continuous, you can see I've got that. So it's great to have it back. I missed it. Uh, and it looks pretty solid. There's uh, there's still some buttons on here I haven't used. I haven't used this uh, this second joystick, and there's some also some two buttons on the back that I haven't figured out what I want to do with. Uh, the, these uh, controllers go for including shipping and handling under thirty dollars, so uh, it's a nice it's a nice uh, option. It's not too much money. They're also pretty strong. Uh, I've dropped this many times on the concrete and never even gotten a scratch on it. So, some, it's another option. Not everybody likes these, but if you do, uh, there you go. So I'll, uh, I'll include more information at the, at the bottom of the page. Thank you.